Seeing the South Mountain, poems of Tiao Yan Ming, selected and translated by Claire Wong Lee, Wan Kunan. Moving to the country. Spring and autumn have many lovely days. I climb the mountain and recite a new poem. Passing by my friend's house, I say hello, and have a cup of wine with them. When there is work to do in the field, we attend to it. When we have time on our hands, we think of one another. When we think of one another, we put on our coat and visit. It is always merry and never tiring. What a nice way to live! We shall not let go of it. We provide ourselves with food and clothing. Our diligence rewards us. Random poems. When I was young and heard people in their fifties talking about their life, I covered my ears in disgust. Now I am fifty. I do it myself. I wanted to do things I had done in my robust youth, but the pleasure could not be repeated. Time flew and could never be retrieved. Life could be lived only once. With the fleeing time left, we should cherish spending time with our family. Shu Guang didn't leave any money to his sons because he thought it would be harmful. Why should I? Do otherwise. Return to rustic life. I liked to be by myself when I was young, and loved hills and mountains. I took the wrong path in serving as a government official, and suffered for thirty years. A caged bird longed for its freedom. A fish in the pond missed its previous deep abode. Now I had a farm of ten or so acres, and eight or nine rooms with thatched roofs. There were elms and willows shading the back of the house. Peach and plum trees lined in the front. In the distant haze was my neighbor's village. Light smoke rose from their kitchen chimney. Dogs barked in the deep lane. Roosters crowed on top of the mulberry trees. My courtyard was free of clutter. The inside rooms were quiet. I had been in a cage too long. Finally, I returned to my freedom. Return to rustic life. I tilled the land and grew beans at the foot of South Mountain. Weeds were abundant, and bean plants sparse. I got up early in the morning to get rid of the weeds. I carried my hoe on my shoulder and returned home in the evening moonlight. The path was narrow, and had been taken over by wild growth. The evening dew wet my clothing. I didn't mind that my clothes were wet. I was content, because this is the life. I had wanted drinking wine. I live near people, but I am not bothered by the noise of the traffic. How can it be? My mind is far away, and my place becomes tranquil. I pick mums at the eastern hedge. I lift my head and see the South Mountain. The mountain air is lovely in the evening dusk. Birds fly together to return to their nests. There is truth in these things. I want to talk about it, but I have forgotten the words. The peach blossom spring. In the Tai Wen era of the Jing Dynasty, there was a fisherman from Wu Ling. One day he rode upstream. And forgot how far he had gone. All of a sudden, he came upon a grove of peach trees. Within a few hundred steps on both sides of the banks, 
There were no other vegetation except for peach trees and fragrant grass. The fallen petals floated in the air. The fisherman was surprised and kept rowing, and came to the end of the stream. There was a mountain and a small entrance. There seemed to be light on the other side of the entrance. He left the boat and went in. In the beginning, it was narrow and only one person could go through. Then it opened. The land was ample and the houses were neatly built. The field was rich with crops and dotted with ponds, mulberry trees, and bamboo groves. Paths in the field led in all directions. There were chickens clucking and dogs barking. The farmers in the fields were busy working, and they wore the same type of clothing as the people on the outside. The old and the young looked happy and content. They saw the fisherman and were astounded, and asked him, Where did he come from? He answered their questions. They wanted to go home, prepare wine, kill chickens, and make food for him. The villagers heard the news and came to inquire. They told the fisherman that during the Qing dynasty, their ancestors escaped the war and came to this place. They had never left and had lost touch with the outside world. They didn't know there was a Han dynasty, to say nothing of the Wei dynasty or the Jing dynasty. He told them everything about the outside world. They were in disbelief and sighed over it. The other villagers also took him home and wined and dined him. The fishermen stayed a few days and said goodbye to the people. They said to him, Don't tell anyone about us. The fisherman came out, found his boat, and followed the route he had come. He had marked many places along the way. When he returned home, he told the local magistrate the story. The magistrate sent people with him to find the place. They couldn't find it. Liu Zhi of Nanyang was a gentleman. He heard about the Peach Blossom Spring and planned to find it himself with great excitement. But he became sick and died before he could make the trip. The people after him stopped asking about the Peach Blossom Spring. Mm -hmm.